Hello everybody, this is going to be part 8 of our Dark Souls walkthrough. Um, I believe it's part 8. Uh, but anyway, we are going to go to Firelink Shrine to enter Blight Town. Now, Blight Town is not a fun area, and one thing that you should have equipped before going to Blight Town is the Rusted Iron Ring. You get that from going back to the... Northern Undead Asylum. It's not technically required for Blight Town. Like, you don't really need it, but it just uh, makes your life a little bit easier, especially if you want to farm uh, certain upgradable materials. Uh, I believe there are some enemies you can kill there for green Titanite shards. I'm not going to be farming uh, anything on camera, but uh, just because. That's going to take a long time, and I don't think you guys want to watch me kill the same enemies over and over and over again. But yeah, you can do that to get more upgrade materials. I also found a perfect place to get uh, Crystal Titanite, I think it's called. Or Twinkling Titanite, not Crystal. Uh, but yeah, we're going to kill some Crystal Lizards. And, uh, and yeah, we really only need to get our weapon to, like, plus five before we, uh, continue on. But anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna kill him. Sometimes I, like, kill that guy when I'm later on into the game, but, you know, there isn't really a reason for it. Never kill him at the start, though, because if you... Uh, or at least never try to kill him. You won't kill him at the start. He will uh, kill you each time, and then you'll just uh, have to start a new save. But uh, but yeah, um, if you want to go um, the easy way, you need the master key. If you don't, then you have to go back to the depths. You have to go down the area where you killed the uh, gaping dragon also known as uh, the vagina monster and you have to uh, go instead of making a right to enter the boss arena you just keep going straight until you can uh, use the blight town key which you get from killing the uh, Gaping Dragon, but yeah, the Master Key will let us go through here. The Gaping Dragon isn't actually a required boss if you selected the Master Key, so um, we're going to go down this way. Uh, if you don't have the ability to go down this way, I would just recommend looking up another video on how to do it, just how to get through Blight Town. Okay, so these guys right here. They, okay, we're just going to backstab him. Yeah, they do poison damage, uh, so you really want to make sure that they don't hit you because after getting hit twice, uh, you're, uh, you're, you're basically uh, screwed if uh, he hits you uh, twice. Uh, but yeah. And also, um, what is the attack value? Yeah, the, uh, Zweihander can also, uh, if you level that up enough, that can also, uh, be pretty useful. Okay, let's kill this guy. Okay, we're just gonna drink our Estus back here. All right, there we go. Yeah, so this area is not very fun um, at all. It's really not. That is why we are going the easy way, because I don't want to make it uh, all the way through. Uh, oh, okay. We also got a key to New Londo Ruins. All right, so open that chest, because I'm pretty sure you need that keeper later on in the game. We're not to that point yet, 
uh, that is for late game, and we're just finishing up uh, early game. Yeah, this game takes uh, a little while uh, to beat. It is definitely not a short game. Uh, I think I spent like 60 to 80 hours uh, beating it on PlayStation. So uh, it's really just not a, uh, a short game. Yeah, we're not even a third way uh, through yet. Anyway, we're just going to keep taking the ladders down. Ah, oh, fuck, I got toxic. Okay, and these guys too. Uh, so these mosquitoes are hard to hit, and they are very toxic. I'm not even... I'm just going to go all the way to the bonfire at the bottom. So yeah, I'm not even going to negate the toxin. I have enough uh, of the moss clumps, but... I just don't feel like using one right now. I'm going to save it for coming back up. I have 15 Astus last. Actually, no. Nah, no. I can't, I can't even fucking use anything yet because there are so many enemies just hitting me. Yeah, I see these mosquitoes are just really annoying. They're hard to hit. They fly around you and randomly poison you. But yeah, we're to the bottom almost. We're going to want to very carefully jump onto here. <laughs> Uh, there's a good chance you will fall down and die here. Um, yeah, it's not fun at all, uh, making it through Blight Town. But we're going to take this ladder. We are to the floor. Uh, the floor area, if you did not get the old rusted ring, it's just going to be really really annoying making it through here but we're gonna kill this guy oh shit i didn't even realize that my health was declining that quickly wow all right i almost died from uh toxin okay but we're gonna do, do, do. we're just running through to the left here and we're just going down to our bonfire there we go and now all our poison is gone health back up there we go. No, actually, uh, I'm going to look for a... Hmm, I don't know if I have anything fire resistant, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with my night shield. And actually, it is uh, kind of looking like... Oh, fuck. Come on. Don't look. Sit down. And repair. I'm just uh, repairing the night shield because it does look like it has a little bit of wear and tear. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, so now that we have the rusted ring on, this right here will make you go very, very slow. Um, that's not too much of a problem, but it does get annoying. Um, as you can see we do get poisoned here uh poison is not nearly as dangerous as toxin uh but yeah we're gonna go through these uh boulder guys hopefully not get hit yeah we just want to run right here till we get this area right up here and now that we're here I am going to actually I'm gonna go a little bit further in just in case those rocks can still hit me and fuck uh, okay I'm gonna use uh, one of these just because uh, during the boss fight I don't want to uh, have poison. Uh, anyway, these guys right here are not fun to deal with. They will not attack you at all. So, it's best to leave them. Now, the reason why you don't want to attack them is because if you kill them, this happens right here. A bunch of maggots comes out. And uh, they all try to attack you. 
like that. And they're very hard to hit. Uh, they do a lot of damage, and there are like a lot of them. I just cut that open to show you what would happen. Uh, do not attack those guys. Uh, there's, uh, there is no incentive um, in doing so. But now we're going to kill Chaos Switch Quelag. Best way to kill her. Ah, uh, fuck, we already got hit by the fire. Ah, oh, fuck, see, that's... Okay. Well, basically, here's how we're going to kill her. So, we're, we're going to... Whatever you do, don't jump to the fire, but when she does this move right here, we can go to the side and we can just start whacking. Just start whacking. Now, there are some moves that you want to be careful for, that you want to watch for. Uh, yeah, as she, oh, uh, she's not about to do it, uh, but basically, this is her fire sword move. Uh, you either want to be far away from her, or really close, like, right here when she does that. If you're super close, like I am right now, when she does the fire sword, uh, it's not gonna hurt you. But another, another thing you have to watch out for is, uh, another move. Hopefully she does it, so I can show you what to avoid. But basically, she will do this move where if she starts hugging the spider's uh, face, or the spider's head, uh, and she starts going down, like that, right there, like that. You want to run. You want to get out because of that. It does, the further away you are, the least amount of damage it does. But if you're close to her while she does that, that is like an insta-kill. So you want to just run at that point just run but yeah we're just gonna hit her a couple more times uh she isn't too hard uh some people say she's really really hard but i've never really found her difficult uh that may just be me though because like some bosses that people say are like really really easy i find like really really difficult and then other bosses that people say are really really difficult I find uh, really, really easy. It's uh, kind of interesting, but uh, but yeah, for me this boss isn't uh, you know too hard. Okay, do, 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 do. and we have one more hit left, and she is dead. Obviously, you want to uh, stay away from the lava. And we defeated Quelag, and we got the soul of Quelag, and we got a twin humanities. Uh, so yeah, now we're going to go to our next bonfire. And uh, yeah, we're going to first come up here. And... We're going to ring the bell, uh, and this this is actually a bell. Uh, it's an underground bell, uh, but we now just gained access to Sen's Fortress. So now we can go into Sen's Fortress. Now before we go there, we are going to do uh, some more preparation. I'm going to get uh, my sword up as many times as I can, just because Sen's Fortress... Mainly the place after Sen's Fortress is really, really difficult, and we want to be prepared. So anyway, I'm going to go down here. Uh, you do want to come down here. Down here you will see a plate right here, and right back here there is an invisible wall. Now, when you go through here, uh, do not kill this guy. He's not an enemy. Uh, just talk. Uh, yes, we're just... We have no eggs. Okay, yeah, so you just say yes, and basically... Uh, we're now to her. Now, basically, when we talk to her, we can get some gamer score or a trophy by entering Covenant. You don't actually have to join the Covenant, you just need to talk to her and press the Enter Covenant option. Now now that we are here, um, there is something that uh, I do need to explain. You can kill her if you want. 
Uh, you do not need to. But if you kill her, you get a Firekeeper Soul. Now, uh, the choice is yours. I'm not going to tell you where to go or what to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You can kill her or you can decide not to kill her. I'm not going to kill her. Um, but what will happen if you make that decision, this bonfire will no longer work. It'll be dead because you killed the firekeeper. If you do decide to kill her, you will get a firekeeper soul and you can give that soul to another firekeeper. Uh, oh man, I just dropped my remote. Thank thankfully, I was not faced that direction before that just dropped. Oh man. Yeah, that would not have been good, but uh, you can kill her, you can not. The reason I'm not going to kill her is because we're actually going to come down here later in the game. And this... Actually, there is a bonfire actually pretty close now that I uh, think about it. Yeah, I'm just going to kill her. We're going to kill her. I just realized uh, there's actually another bonfire pretty close, so I already got the covenant points. Uh, he's going to attack you now. He, he's pissed. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that bonfire no longer works. Okay, now we have to run from a bunch of disgusting maggots, but apparently he dropped something. I want to know what he drops. Ooh, perfect. Ooh, you know what we're going to do with that? The egg, uh, you're going to want to keep one of those. The thing we just grabbed from him is called an egg, uh, what was it called? An egg vermifuge, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but it, uh, oh wait, wrong way. Well, yeah, but anyway, what it does is it, uh, allows you to get rid of parasites uh, so later in the game you can end up with a parasite so we are going to keep at least one however if you uh, you can trade this in to a bird actually and we're going to do that later in the game but uh, I'm going to explain what I mean by that but there is basically a bird's nest uh, that we can trade one of these egg vermifuges two and uh, this will basically oh I should have leveled up I should have leveled up that bonfire before deactivating it I'm actually no nah, I can probably make it to the next bonfire but uh, there's a bonfire pretty close to the, that one we're just not going there yet because I don't have a need to but the uh, egg vermifuge you can go to a certain nest and you can leave it in a nest and a bird will basically trade it for a dragon scale which is very good for uh, weapons like the dragon tooth like the uh, great axe we got from chopping off the uh, uh, gaping dragon's tail earlier so we are going to do that later. Uh, probably not anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go through. And we're just... Uh, I'm just... Oh, we got a large titanite shard. Yep, uh, there is a large titanite shard right here. You can upgrade uh, a weapon with that, whichever weapon you chose. Uh, again, I would recommend the Zui Hander for... The weapons you can upgrade but again you can you can do your own research on like all the weapons the reason I'm not getting all the weapons is because the videos just like I could explain every weapon in the game but that would take way too long um, so yeah I'm gonna get my I don't know if I want to do you know I'm just gonna get my vitality up to 23. I'm going to get it up to 30 
I'm also going to work to get my endurance up to 25. Uh, really quickly, I see an item back there in the distance. Uh, I'm going to run over here. There is something actually that we are going to do here. Large soul of a proud knight. Uh, I, I do see. Okay, so I think these you can farm for green titanite. They have a chance to drop it, I think. I think it is these. Uh, there is another item to get here. And a poison mist pyromancy. And we get uh, an armor set. Alright, so that is... If you want the achievement to get all pyromancies or you're a pyromancer, uh, you should do that. Uh, I might actually put that on. Uh, into my attunement slot. Uh, looks like there is something right over here. Another large soul of a proud knight. Let's go. I don't know how many souls those are worth, but uh, probably a lot. Yeah, as you can uh, see, it is Really nice having that uh, rusted iron ring. Let's see what it is. Okay, these are more of the maggot guys. Just gonna kill him. Yeah, I think. I, I don't know the actual uh, drop rate, but we got a green titanite shard there. And, uh. Yeah, these things are like. Everything in Blight Town is ugly. And, uh. And, like, you get poisoned just by, like, going through. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm not going to kill any uh, more of these guys. I'm just going to go up this branch and see where it leads. I think it leads to the Great Hollow. It does. Yes, this is where I want to go. So, you get a plank shield from this guy. There is a hidden wall here. Uh, right here is a hidden wall. You're going to want to hit it. We're going to get a 20 humanities. Um, this is only necessary if you have a Black Knight weapon or another weapon that uses uh, Twinkling Titanite. I'm basically, I'm not going to go through this whole area. And the reason why is because um, when if we get to the bottom, if we get to the bottom, we are going to be able to find a lot of dragon scales like a ton however we're not going to do that uh instead we're going to go to this bonfire right here we're going to rest at it and we're not going to go any further because this area is easy to go down it isn't as easy to get up getting up from the bottom it's, it's like it goes really far down but getting back up is really 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 difficult and i mean really difficult so what we're actually going to do we're going to come back here uh before we go to the demon ruins because we do need to come back to blight town later on in the game but we're going to come back to this area and we're going to travel all the way down uh the reason we're going to do that later is because later on in the game you can teleport between bonfires and there is a bonfire at the very bottom and if we rest at that bonfire we're basically going to be stuck down there unless we can teleport between them so that's why we're going to do that later on in the game and we're going to jump down to this branch here and we're just this is really only necessary for Twinkling Titanite. I'm trying to get more Twinkling Titanite for my Black Knight Great Swords. Uh, so yeah, we go up here. Ah, uh, there's nothing. Actually, where does this even lead? I think there should be a Crystal Lizard here, unless unless someone is lying to me on the internet, which never has happened in the history of the internet. All right. Maybe we have to, because I... Okay, we're going to quit the game, and we're going to go back in. I think that... 
I think I might have to exit the game and go back to get it. That's what the guy in the tutorial video I just watched uh, did. Uh, so yeah, I hopefully it works. Uh, but let me go let's find my my save. Uh, and is it gonna be there? Oh, there we go. Yep, he's gonna be there. Come on, come on, kill him. Oh, oh shit, he's not dead. Yeah, if I don't kill him in time, he's ah oh, fuck. Okay, well, that's that sucks. Okay, well, yeah. It, if that happens, all you have to do is quit the game, and you have to go back into the game. I didn't kill him in time because I'm at a hall, and it's hard to hit shit when. There are walls all around you. It's really fucking annoying, but uh, I'm just going to keep doing this until I get the Twinkling Titanite. Um, you can just skip this part of the video if you want. If you already got it, or or if you're not uh, upgrading a Black Knight weapon. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, come here, bitch. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. I didn't even hit him. Okay, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna use the Drake sword. And where the fuck is it? There we go. I'm gonna do actually another trick, because it looks like that this weapon that I was using doesn't have range. I can do this with the Drake Sword. So that's why I'm gonna use uh, the Drake Sword. There we go. We're coming back with the Drake Sword. Uh, even though it is not really that useful anymore, we can still use it to kill crystal lizards. All right, here we go. I'm two-handing it. Okay, where the fuck is he? Seriously, where the fuck did it go? Ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, there he is. Here. I don't know why he spawned that close to me this time. I don't know what this game... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't disappear. Oh, no. Fucking wall. Oh, come on. One more fucking hit. Come on. There we go. Is he dead? How is he not fucking dead? Come here. There we go. Oh, finally. Okay. Now we can get this to... Uh, plus three. I think we need like three more of these guys, but I believe there are more lizards here. Oh shit, that's not good. Uh, uh, another thing I should mention is that uh, there are basilisks here uh, that curse you. So um, yeah, just uh, be on the lookout. For that, I think I should be able to find another crystal lizard, though. Okay, well, I'm dead. Okay, and there go six 
thousand souls. Oh well. Well, we'll farm more souls later, so uh, it's not like that matters. Uh, the tutorial I watched kind of hinted that there would be another crystal lizard here after you killed the first one. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now we can... Now we can leave uh, this cursed area. I really hate the hollow area of uh, this game, but I think I have enough to uh, upgrade it. Uh, I have four Twinkling Titanite now. I think that is enough. Uh, actually, I think I need five, maybe six. Hold on, let me let me go look it up. Uh, it's either five or six. Uh, Let's see, Black Knight Great Sword, or not the Great Sword, just a okay. Sword upgrade. Okay, it looks like Okay, so it needs 10 Twinkling Titanite in total. So I got one, two, three, four. I need to kill one more Crystal Lizard. Okay, just one more. Wait, no, I killed that one. I killed that one. I killed. All right. Um. There might be another crystal lizard uh, in the Great Hollow. I'm just gonna go back to the bonfire now, just by dying, whatever. Uh, let's see. Alright. It looks like there are 10 crystal lizards according to this video I just found. Yeah, I just got a kit. You already got that one. Okay. All right. So Okay, so this next one, there should be another one by... We're going to fall off the same branch. We're going to go up the branch, same way as before, but at the turn, we're going to fall off onto... Okay. Alright. I'm going to kill one more Crystal Lizard. And, uh... And yeah, I know that I am spending a long time getting crystal lizards. Uh, probably is dragging the video out, but uh, they are pretty important to get. So we're going to come back onto here, and we're just going to drop to this branch, and to here. Oh, I almost fell off there. And there should be, there should be one down here. Yep, there we go. Again, if you don't see anything down here, what you want to do, or if you fail like I did, you just have to do it like what I did earlier, which is just quit out of the game, go back in. It, it uh, does get pretty annoying to do these uh, crystal lizards. Do spawn out pretty quickly, so you have to be quick, but it is worth it to exit out of the game and immediately go back in to get it, because having a weapon like the Black Knight Sword at uh, plus 5 is very beneficial and I especially want to do it before I get to the boss that I am really not looking forward to just because 
there is a boss later on in the game that is, uh, it's so difficult, I have only killed it once. I've only beaten Dark Souls once. I've gotten to this boss before, and, you know, I haven't been able to kill him. In fact, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is my, uh, Xbox 360, uh, save file that I almost got to, uh, killing, uh, this boss, but I just wasn't able to do it. I only was able to do it one time, and it took me, like, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, 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 never mind. Oh, wait, nope, he disappeared anyway. Ah, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, but anyway. Wait, did I ju just... Hold on, let's see, is there another one just... There we go. I saw him kind of... Okay, 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 come here, come here. Come here, ah! Fuck, I hate these things. Okay, there are a lot of crystal lizards here though it you have to be really quick and I just can't seem to uh get them. Uh yeah. Oh you're kidding. But yeah, uh, the reason I'm trying to level up as much as possible is to be this boss because uh I only did it once on PlayStation, uh on Dark Souls remastered on the PS4. It took me at least six hours. I, I didn't time it, but I, I guarantee it took at least six hours, probably closer to ten. Uh, and that was me playing for like two hours a day for a couple of days, and I was stuck there for like a week. And it got very infuriating. Uh, this boss, I feel like, is the... Uh, greatest uh reason why people uh quit the game because of the difficulty yeah it is uh oh you gotta be kidding me they didn't even fucking respond holy shit <sighs> okay maybe i have to stand like right now i'm gonna just stand as much as i can over here, and hopefully they come back. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! They, I really hate doing this. Like just quitting the game, going back in. I mean, like checking save data. Let's let's show the intro scene. Let's show that it was made by Bandai Namco Games and from software, because I didn't already fucking know that from the first dozen times it told me. All right. There we go, okay. Come here, bitch. Yeah, you're gonna die this time. Come on. There we go, okay. I'm gonna go for the other one, uh, just because they are still... Twinkling Titanites are still useful, and there are a lot of them, but... Uh, oh, it looks like there are even more than I thought. I don't even remember seeing this one. Uh, there we go. Yep, now that I got enough, I can... Kill these, uh, flawlessly, huh? Oh, yep. Oh, can't- Oh, shit! No, 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 Okay, yep, I'm just- Yeah, I'm gonna leave that area now. Uh... Maybe I can get some of these- Oh, another crystal lizard! Holy shit, there are a ton of crystal lizards in here. I was planning on not going through the- Okay, well, I- Fell off a red titanite chunk down here. Nice. I'm gonna. There's something over there. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Oh, there's also something up here. Wow, we're getting a lot of. Uh... Yeah, we don't even have to go down the whole thing. I was originally planning on just not messing with this area at all. But all I'm gonna do is just not. Uh... Go down all the way. I can still get all these uh, goodies. Yeah, especially the Titanite, or the yeah, Twinkling Titanite. And I'm dead. But yeah, um, 
we are going to come down here uh, much later in the game, and we're actually going to descend all the way, and there's a bonfire at the bottom. The only reason we are not doing that is because I don't want to make my way up, because the way up is hard. The way down is hard, but manageable. The way up is uh, completely just not fun so yeah we will be going all the way down later but we got our twinkling kite tonight and uh yeah time to go back to the bonfire and then once i get to the bonfire at the bottom i'm just gonna make my way back up we're just gonna go uh pretty much uh the same way that we already got down there is another way to go up. Uh, there are two ways down to Blight Town. Uh, you want to make sure to go the right way up. Because if you go the other way, you're going to end up in an area you don't want to end up at. Which is just going to be a harder place to get through. I'm probably going to go the other way once I have the teleportation... Uh, unlocked just because I don't want to be trapped yeah we're just gonna go up here actually wait 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 before I almost missed it we're actually going back to the bonfire first because there is a dragon scale we can get uh fun fact on my uh playstation uh save file I actually use all the dragon scales I found to level up the drake sword before switching to a black knight great sword uh, not the best idea, but, uh, I did beat the game still. Uh, we're just going to go to this chest, and we have a dragon scale. There we go, yep. We are also going to, uh, hopefully find a fire keeper soul, I think. I think there was one in Blight Town. I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure there was blood in Blight Town. Actually, I'm going to equip my uh, going to equip one of these. Uh, and I only have three. I need to be careful with these. Uh, you can buy these. Uh, I should have told you actually to buy some more of these before we went down here because uh, they do get rid of poison and toxin and that is what Blight Town is all about there we go this is the way I think we went up so anyway we're gonna come here we're gonna take this ladder up we're going to actually I think that might be on the other side I do want to get that Firekeeper soul just so we have more Estus. Huh. Yeah, I think it's... No, no, it's not. Never mind. It's, it's on this side. Okay, kill that guy. Man, I just love one-shotting some of these enemies. Like, I remember, like, first playthrough, when I had the Drake Sword, I just had to, like, hit those guys, uh, three times. Kill them. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the Drake Sword is, uh, really only good for everything before this area. It's a really good, like, really, really good weapon for early on in the game. But just not good once get here yeah we're gonna we're really gonna get this up to plus five because on my first playthrough I used the black knight great sword which has the exact same damage outputs as uh, the sword I have right now but it is a bit slower uh, scaling is a bit different uh, I believe 
that the great sword has better scaling but uh but this will do more base damage and i think i only had a plus two or a plus three black knight great sword when i killed this boss so i'm gonna have a much easier time this time around and i'm also gonna level up my shields i i'm pretty sure you're supposed to do that on my first playthrough of the game i didn't even level up a shield once because i didn't think it was important uh can i jump i'm gonna see if i can jump down there i might insta die nope 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 i can make it this is where we want to go this area is gonna be really annoying but i'm just coming here for fire keeper so i'll kill these weird fire dog things these guys shoot darts at you and if one of them hits you you get toxic oh i did not mean to do that okay yep, I, I get it um okay okay fuck can't kill these guys. Oh, fuck! <sighs> Seriously. Uh, yeah, this... This area gets annoying. Um, once we get our Firekeeper soul, which I think is there, I may be wrong, I may be remembering wrong, but there should be one. Uh, then we'll have two Firekeeper, uh, Keeper souls. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get this up to plus two. We can get this all the way up to plus seven. Although we're probably not gonna get it up to plus seven. Actually, no, we'll, we'll get it up to plus seven, actually. Right before we finish the game, I'll make sure to get it up to plus seven. Uh, but there is another fire keeper we can kill. And, uh... I don't want to kill her, uh, and I'll explain why later, but there is another Firekeeper that I will kill at least before, like right at the very end, I'm going to kill her for the Firekeeper uh, soul. But it's a Firekeeper uh, we haven't uh, seen yet. Alright, kill this guy. Okay, I just need to make it through this area right here. Maybe hmm, there has to be a better way to enter it than what I did. There, that, that's a better way to enter it. Yep, that's how I should have done it. These guys shoot darts at you. I'm going to run past. I don't think they respawn, but I may not be right about that. But I think when you kill them, I think they're dead forever. But again, I may be wrong. Yeah, now, and these guys also drop, uh, our moss clumps. So, once these guys are dead, and this guy right here, he's, he's being a cheeky little bastard, uh, trying to hide from us. So, we're gonna eat one of these, uh, things they're dropping, and we're going to be very careful. Hopefully not get hit again, because one hit, and we have toxic again. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna wait for him to shoot that, and we're gonna, okay, it doesn't even matter. Right, what a pussy. Uh, whatever, um, we'll, we'll just eat another one. Uh, I would save them, but, uh, I really don't want to die before getting my, uh, my very important. Uh, okay, this guy is going to be here. We're just... Uh, seriously? Fuck these guys, man. So, you know, whatever. I'm not drinking more of these. I'm just... I'm going to just body slam these dogs. There we go. Yep. Get the Firekeeper soul. And, you know... Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Whatever, um... Eh, doesn't matter, we're just gonna go up now. I don't really feel like dealing with that, and plus I didn't have many Estus left anyway. Yeah, like I said, if you guys are running out of Estus, um... At this point, we should have plenty of humanity 
to, uh, yeah, we have plenty of humanity. I'm just uh, not using it. Uh, just because I don't need it, and I'm not gonna. Uh, there will be one place, actually, where I do actually get that up to plus 20. There will be a bonfire that I get up to plus 20. Anyway, we're gonna come over here. Drop onto this thing. We're gonna keep going up. Up the ladder. Yep, we're just climbing on all the way up. And these really annoying mosquitoes that shoot poison at you uh, are following us. Uh, Alright. Uh, there is a lot of stuff actually to collect up here, technically. Uh, I'm just not doing it because I don't want to deal with White Town. But uh, we are already at the top, and uh, if you want to, if you want to go the other way, uh, just just uh, look up another tutorial and just look up how to get through Blight Town by going from the depths. There we go. Got that guy. Yeah, Blight Town is a. Uh, Actually, Blight Town is notorious for being, like, really, really slow. Like, the frame rate apparently drops a lot if you're playing on, like, Xbox 360 or PS3. Uh, I'm playing on an Xbox uh, Series X, uh, so I don't really have that problem. If you're playing on an Xbox One or, you know, Dark Souls Remastered on PS4 or anything like that, uh, or PC, you don't have to deal with that issue, but uh, apparently Blight Town is uh, really, really, really slow, and the frame rate just drops a lot, which I'm not even sure how you're supposed to play this game if the frame rate goes down, like, really, really slow. Like, I've heard stories of it going down to, like, five frames a, uh, a second. Which, you know, if the game was going down to 5 frames a second, I, I don't know how you're uh, supposed to beat it, but uh, I've never played it on the original Xbox uh, 360. Just uh, my Xbox Series X and my PS4. Those are the two consoles I've played this game on, but we're going up. And uh, I'm going to end this video by going to Andre and, of course, uh, having my weapon uh, be very, very OP. And another thing I'm going to make sure to do is talk to this firekeeper. If she's dead because you decided not to kill uh, the Golden Knight, I think his name's like Loot Tracker or uh, something like that. Um, there will be another Firekeeper. You can give Firekeeper Souls 2 later on in the game. We'll see her, uh, in a little while. But yeah, we're gonna get that up to plus four. Fuck yeah. Alright, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see how good that is. I'm gonna rest in this bonfire. Going to, actually, did I get the, I may have... Locked myself out of a pyromancy. I really hope I didn't. Oh, I think I did. Ah, fuck.
locker. Well, whatever. Uh. Well, we're gonna uh, continue throughout the game. And I cannot wait to get this weapon up to plus five. I'm going to use this for the rest of the video, probably. Actually, I might not do that. I might actually get the dragon tooth. Or I'm probably I'm probably gonna use the dragon tooth, which is uh, a weapon that I don't have yet, uh, but I know where to get it. It's in a future area, but it requires 40 strength. Uh, but I am going to uh, obtain it, and later on in the game, like by the time we're done with the game, for our status, uh, we should actually have strength up to 40. Endurance up to 40, and Vitality up to 40. And it shouldn't be too hard to do that by the end of this. Oh yeah, one thing um, I'm going to mention... Uh, this is very important. We're going to buy poison arrows uh, for later because we are going to, uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but we're going to cheese a certain enemy by using poison arrows. We're going to buy a lot of them. I have 2,280 souls, and I'm going to spend them all right here. There we go, 100 each. Well, we can get 22 of them. We will want those. Uh, but basically, we're going to use those to uh, hit an enemy. And it's uh, slowly going to drain their HP. It's going to take like 2 minutes for it to work, but it's going to make our lives a lot easier. So yeah, once we hit a certain enemy with that poison arrow later in the game, we are going to uh, be able to really have a nice, easy way. To get, and I also need to get 4,000 uh, souls. I need 4,000 uh, just because I need... Uh, to upgrade my weapon to plus five. I already have all the Twinkling Titanite I need. And, like, I, I did not know before I, like, looked it up that uh, the Great Hollow was a place with a lot of uh, Twinkling Titanite. There is also another place later on in the game that has a ton of Twinkling Titanite. We're not really going to need to go there. But uh, I'm going to get all the Twinkling Titanite anyways, because, you know, why not? Okay, I'm just killing all the guys I see along the way. Next video, we are going to Sen's Fortress. Yep. Sen's Fortress, uh... I'm not going to spoil anything, but, uh, yeah, it, that's what we're going to finish off, uh, the video with. I'm going to get the 4,000 souls real quick for leveling up purposes. Uh, feel free to skip the next portion of the video if you'd like. Uh, we are going to end this video at, uh, the bonfire near Andre. So, uh, if you want to skip this video, of course, uh, you can just skip to the next one, but we are going to be starting off the next video at the bonfire near Andre. Right now, uh, I, I really hate doing this on camera, but, uh, but I'm getting up to 4,000 
crystals, and I should be able to get 2,000 on the way, so I really only need to do this, like, three more times. Uh, fun fact about Dark Souls, once you beat the game once, uh, you can go into New Game Plus One, where all the enemies are stronger, and uh, you basically are... Uh, it's a lot harder, but all the enemies are stronger, but they drop a lot more souls. So if you're a crazy person, and you really like Dark Souls, and you're like super, super into it, you can keep going into New Game Plus, and each time it gets harder and harder. Now the reason I'm bringing this up is because in New Game Plus, the first time you enter it, that dragon thing right there, Instead of 555 souls, it gives you around 2,700. And uh, and yeah, I I tried that too. Like, I was like, hey, let uh, let's see how much of a difference this makes. And it was like, yeah, we're talking like five times as much. But yeah, I don't need yeah, I don't need any more. After that, I just need 4,000, and I will probably get 1,000 on the way going through the sewer method. Uh, the reason I'm going uh, through this method is because it's easier than going past the dragon. Uh, the only real threat here is getting poisoned by these three rats, but because we already opened up the bonfire, that poison is about to be gone. The poison is about to be gone. Yeah, we just need to get down here. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well. Alright. I'm just gonna rest here. And now. That we just need 400 more. Oh, and I'm also gonna get my shield up a little bit too. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that uh, in a little while. Probably in a couple videos, I will be getting my shield up. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, he did drop something. Oh, I need that Titanite. It might not be Titanite, but there is a good... Oh, it's a uh, sword. Yeah, I didn't really need that, but... uh. La 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 la. Going through here, and now we're finally at the bonfire that we need to go to, right by Andre. All right, perfect. You know this. This is looking uh, pretty decent uh, so far. Let's see. Any armor though I could use that is. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting up uh, vitality and endurance as much as I can from now on. Uh, I recommend getting vitality up to thirty and endurance up to uh, 25 first, uh, but at that point you can just keep getting everything up. Uh, but yeah, let, uh, let's go to Andre here. Alright, here we go. Hell yeah. Yep. Oh man, we need four for this one, but we did it. We got our, and I don't even think you can get it up, uh, up anymore. Yeah, this is as a, maybe, do I have enough for, maybe I should get the Zwei Hander up a bit too, because I am going for the uh, raw reinforcement. Uh, 
Yeah, that'll get it up to, uh, 240. Actually, yeah, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'm off camera, I am going to get my, uh, Sly Hander up a bit, just to get towards the achievement of obtaining best weapon via raw reinforcement, uh, but that's really all I'm going to do off camera, and uh, next video we're going to be going uh, through Sen's Fortress, and we are going to go to the hard part of the game. This is when Dark Souls really becomes Dark Souls. It's when the game becomes actually hard, and uh, my first time playing this, I was like, how on earth am I supposed to get through this entire game? And I was like, this game was very, very hard. And then I got to Sense Fortress, and it got like 20 times as hard. And then I got to the area after uh, Sense Fortress, and uh, it was also just even harder. Uh, so yeah, uh, this game is going to ramp up the difficulty. Um, all I need to do to beat the main game now is, actually I'm not going to explain everything, actually just for spoilers, but uh, we're about to go to mid game. We are done with early game Dark Souls. We are going to the mid game, and mid game, in my opinion, is the hardest. Uh, end game is also pretty, pretty hard. Uh, I think I think that just the one boss I keep talking about in mid game is the hardest out of them all. Uh, but anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate this tutorial. Peace out.